Hello, my lovely people. Good morning to you and welcome to God's Love You channel, the home of news. If it is your first time and you like what we're doing here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell. To all notifications, this will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Here we react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. My people, I have come again yesterday evening. We received a news that Mazin Nandekano is seriously ill in the DSS custody that he needed urgent medical attention, of which the doctor came, but the DSS uh, refused him access from the doctor. And later at night, Barrister Aloy Ejimako also tweeted that finally they have given Mazi Namdekano access to his doctor. But yet the doctor said that he need to be moved out of the uh, DSS to go for proper medical checkup. And now the video we are going to be listening to is... Um, Biafrans, Biafrans don't verse. They said if anything happens to Mazin Nandikano, you will hear it from them. We'll be here listening to this video together and we'll go to the comment section to air our mind. Thanks for watching. I'm telling you, we don't take our own so simple. If anybody is coming out with an ideology of now God to bring, now God to take, it is a lie. God will allow you long life. Nandikano's life is very very sacrosanct nobody should toy with it now he can is sick the operatives of the ss should allow his doctors to access to him for medication so if stopping a jimaka the lawyer and stopping his medical uh, personnel too to attend to him the ss operatives they are asking for war what is happening now is a child play you have government, you have all the apparatus of Nigerian government that are history blind. Tinubu is history blind because if he's actually a man endowed with education and knowledge, you should know that when somebody is fighting for freedom, if that person dies, you are burying him with a flag. That their fear will come down and if not, they cannot die. Yes, that their fear will be established properly. Properly. Yes, after telling Zebda, Zebda will tell you properly. See, let me tell you. An agitator is never a criminal. Yes. If you kill him, you, Mr. President, CGN, Attorney General of Federation, and all the operatives of BSS will be what? Tagged criminals, murderers. He's doing normal business that Igbo was doing. I repeat again. You immediately assumed office you free your brother and it's uh, it is attracting more international attention that Ibowo is free he did not even go to any court of competent jurisdiction before they set him free but today someone that you abducted from nairobi an abductee a captive a hostage in the den of kidnappers you still don't you still deny him access to medication medication it has exhumed another shame international shame the nigerian government is going down with their what international image the more because he can't deny that kind of person medication as i'm talking to you now Number one person we have now in Africa is Nnamdi Kanu. But out of hatred they have for Igbos, they don't want to recognize him. They think that he's a child play because police, Fulani, prison controllers, Fulani are there. Customs, Fulani control. Nigerian military is Fulani. Quarantine is Fulani. Immigration is Fulani. All of them, they are Fulani. So now they believe that because of that, Igbo man is afraid of God. I want to ask questions. I, I, I always put questions across. When we fought Nigerian Biafran Civil War, from 1967, just as six months, to 1970, what happened? Who were more equipped with mechanisms required for war, full escalated war, is Nigeria. Logistics, food, everything is with Nigeria. 
who is lacking firearms, most mechanisms that are meant for war is Biafrans. Then what did Biafrans use to sustain Nigeria for the six months? War, matches, sticks, armed, manufactured, invented by Igbo man. Obuni Igwe. Are you listening to me? And the rest of them. We even had our modular refinery. We get, we dig our own bunker with AC underground. As of 1967, I'm talking about 57 years ago, and Biafra has come this long, and Nigeria is thinking that Fulani soldiers and Niger soldiers will, will defeat Biafra. Oga, it is better for everybody to go for roundtable talk. And the first class medication be administered to Mazin and the Kano to avoid his, him being demised that Tinubu is blind, history blind. CG and Ariwola is history blind. As to Attorney General Federation, all of them, even the number three citizen, Akwabio Ewuhua, is history demise. Because if they all know what his if they all know what history stands for, they would have run with such a speed, such swiftness to where DSS facilities to make sure that that guy is not ill. Not mentioning of the fact that he is ill. You should have taken care of him medically. Because if Nandi Kano dies, they will know the value of Ibo Man. No. They will know the, how, how far Ibo Man have, have gone, gone on it. What about our uh, Ibo leaders? The Ibo leaders, they have a, you know, um, sold out. Let me use the word sold out. Because all of them are shouting and shouting. And if you give them money, they will accept it. Ibo leaders I mean are the Johannesers. People in their 80s, 90s, 65, uh, 75, 70s. The people that are doing this work are 50s down to so 18. They are the ones that are coming out to make sure that Biafra comes. I'm not talking about the Atazers, Iwanyamos. No. I mean everybody the Ibo youths. We are the ones. So what has happened to Nande Kano has never happened to anybody, any agitator in the world. So what? Yes. Look at it. He's not using arms. Mandela, when he was agitating for independence of South Africa, that one is free. Because that one, you can't equal Mandela's agitation within Nande Kano. Their colonial master just, you know, persisted, not leaving them in a haste. That's why Mandela started what he was doing. Started with ANC. I don't know understand. And Soweto movement. See, but this one is fighting for exploitation, marginalization, injustice, persecution, enslavement. All these are within the enclavement of what Nande Kanu is fighting against. The Ibos has been over marginalized after they lured us into believing that there will be there should be what? There should be reconciliation, reconstruction. Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. After the war, that was 1970. And today we are seeing what? Opposite. What we are seeing is hostilities after hostilities. Marginalizations after marginalizations. Expre uh, 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 what do you call it? Suppress, suppressing after suppressing. Suppression after suppression. All jammed together. It's what Igbo man has been going through after the war. So what I'm trying to say is that Mandela could never be equal. His own struggle with Nandekano's struggle. Nandekano is struggling for what Finland is struggling for. In 1950s, 56, back to 1900. Since inception of Stalin, Stalingram, or uh, Grade, yes, that's Russia, and Co. They held most of the Scandinavian countries hostage, I mean USSR, Union Socialist of Soviet uh, Republic. I don't really understand. They held Finland, they held all the Scandinavians. Until Finland struggled and struggled and get, got independence in 1956. So that's why Finland is not going to let, let uh, someone else go. But most of the content, components of this government, this present administration, are not knowledgeable. They have not gotten the information needed 
by anybody that should be in that public offices or positions. That's why they don't know that fighting someone ever is just like firing the moon with gunpowder. You can't fight someone ever. Someone ever is under a good care of who? Finland. Protected, well pro fortified. Nothing will happen to him because in 1967, 66, 5, uh, uh, no, sorry, 67, 60, 67, 68, 69, 70. Finland as a country starved their children. They don't pay their children's school fees. What cost it? They were starving their children. Deny them education because of what? Their friend children is in history. Nobody knows it that Finland suffered hard to feed their friend children because of Pachoko. So that country did not start, stop, start, st did not start liking us today. They are our good friends. Currently, they were our good friends. Finland. So what I'm trying to say is that Tinubu himself as a president, his administration and all the components of this regime are history blind. They don't know history. That it is unfair to keep somebody incommunicable without medication. You are not giving him medical attention. Do you want to